Hey everyone, this is Nagesh Pabati with Quest AI. Today I'm going to show you how to convert your Figma design into a fully functioning live website uh, using Quest AI plugin um, automatically without writing any code. So here's an example of a Figma design with a couple of uh, frames or artboards uh, for desktop and mobile. And using Quest AI, you can convert that into a live website, uh, something like this. Um, automatically. So this was done without writing any code. You see some animations um, that brings elements into place and animations as you scroll and so on. Um, before I get started, uh, just to give you a little bit of background about Quest in case you're not familiar, uh, Quest helps you convert your designs into uh, live experiences. This could be websites or business applications or anything that you want to build. You can design with Figma, Sketch or XD and they get converted automatically. You can add interactions, um, animations, you can add video, um, connect to data, etc., and build a fully functioning responsive website. Okay. Um, <clears throat> to get started with Figma, uh, go to quest.ai forward slash Figma and download the plugin, or you can also find it from uh, the Figma plugin community. Just search for Quest AI. Once you have your Figma plugin installed, um, start with the design. And here I have uh, uh, the design document with the two frames for desktop and mobile. Uh, with Quest, uh, you can have any number of uh, frames for any number of screen sizes, depending on your audience. Uh, you can start with just one mobile, or you can start with multiple. There's no limit. Uh, once you have your designs ready and you're fully happy with the design, um, you open the Quest plugin and you log into your account. So you can start a new project or update an existing one uh, with an updated design. Uh, you can do a single web page uh, building towards multi-page website or you can start components. Um, those are reusable modules uh, that you can use across all of your accounts. So in this case, I want to start a new web page. Um, so I'll select uh, that option. Then I select both the artboards. Um, so if you have more than two, then you select all of them by simply doing a shift click. Um, I give this a name. And hit export. Now the design is being exported to Quest where it will automatically be converted into um, live production ready code. Great. The design has been exported. Let's go view this in Quest. Okay, now we are in the Quest editor um, where what you're seeing actually in the center is uh, live HTML. Um, so your design instantly got converted into a pixel perfect uh, uh, HTML page. So you see exactly what the users will see. Um, you can look at various frames, uh, the desktop and mobile, um, everything brought in exactly the way you had designed it. Um, on the left side, you also see the various elements of your design brought in exactly the way you had set up, as well as uh, the properties on the right, if you want to make any quick edits to the properties. So in this case, it, this looks good to me. So uh, the first thing I'll do is just try to preview this. So I hit the preview button. Great. So this is a preview of the page. Uh, this is functioning HTML. I can drag the screen around to see how it looks across various screen sizes. Uh, there's a QR code that pops up as well, so you can uh, look at it in your own um, mobile device. Uh, you can also toggle across various preset screen sizes uh, to see how it looks across various screen sizes. So this looks good to me, so I'll go ahead and publish this. To publish, there's a default um, URL that you get uh, with a subdomain. You can set up your own custom domain as well. Um, in this case, I'll just use the default subdomain. Now let me go view the page. There you go. So you now have an HTML page uh, that is pixel perfect to your design and that works across multiple screen sizes. Um, so literally in just uh, 
couple of clicks, you went from design to having a live page. Uh, this is um, uh, this has analytics built in. It's on the edge caching and CDN turned on. Um, so you literally can have a million people go to this page and it'll work. Okay, uh, but so far this is just a static page, right? So there's no interaction built yet. So let's go back and and build some interactions. So in Quest, you can build any type of interactions that you do normally hand-coded. Um, but just for the purpose of this demo, I'll show you a couple of uh, quick examples. Uh, you can watch other videos in this channel to, to get into more detail. Uh, but let's try a few things first. So the first thing is, let's say we want to make the nav bar fixed. Um, all I have to do is select the, the group uh, that contains the nav bar and pin the position of it. So it just gets pinned to the top, um, so you have a fixed nav bar. Um, in the example, the fully built page that I showed you, uh, there are some animations that happen when the page loads. So text animating into place and the box animating. I'll show you a quick example of how to build something like that. Um, so let's say we want this text to animate into place. Um, I can, uh, on the bottom here, I have a timeline manager, so I can add a new timeline. Um, I can name it whatever I want on load. I select this to play page on load. And I can add an action. Um, so to add an action, simply go to the element uh, that you want to animate and uh, create tween in the current timeline. So I want this to animate from the left. So I go from absolute value. I want this X to be zero. And I want the opacity to be zero um, and animate it to 100%. So I can do a preview right here to animate into place. Great, that was easy. Um, so I want to do the same for the second um, text box, um, text element. So I just go do the same. Create tween in the current timeline. I want this to come from zero um, and with an opacity of zero, right? Preview, both animate into place. So it's as simple as that, right? So you can keep going, keep animating as many as you want. Uh, you can change the timelines around if you move them around, uh, change the type of ease. So you can do a whole bunch of things here uh, that are covered in other videos. Um, other quick example is, uh, let's say you want to set this up as um, a, a URL or a click action. I just go to the right, select my text element, um, and say I want this to be a click or tap action. And my action is, um, I can set various types of uh, actions when a user clicks on it, but in this case I want to go to a URL. Um, and I can I want to make this a relative URL within the within this particular uh, website. So I select that option and uh, uh, type in the name of the page that I want to go to. Right. Um, so it's as simple as that. So we pin the position of the nav bar. Uh, we added some timeline animations and we set up a URL. So now let's build the page and uh, see how it works. Great. Let's go view the page. Okay, let's reload this again. So when the page loads, you saw the text animate into place. I can adjust the timing and tweak it um, so it looks uh, exactly as I want. Uh, when I scroll, I have the nav bar pinned at the top and I have this as a URL uh, that navigates to a different page in this website. So um, as simple as that, so in just a few actions, we were able to set up a functioning page. Uh, you can continue to do more. Um, for example, uh, you can go in, um, set up uh, your, uh, your page settings, your SEO, you can add some external data sets. Um, so you can create dynamic content. Uh, there's even a code module. So if you want to write any specific, uh, a special code, uh, you can do that. Um, so uh, you can watch other videos to go through some of these details to build a fully functioning page. Just one more thing I want to show you um, is uh, once I build this, um, I can go and uh, create some components here so I can use this uh, across all of my uh, pages. Um, I can set up a site. In this particular case, I'm just using the default domain. 
uh, I can go back update my subdomain as well or I can set up my own custom domain um, and uh, as soon as I validate my custom domain uh, I can start publishing my pages to this uh, easily. Great. Um, so that was a quick overview about Quest. One of the very cool thing about Quest is, um, let's say you after you build a page, you you make any changes to the design, um, so you can easily update your page without having to redo everything. So um, it's as simple as you go back uh, to your design, select your frames, and then select the project that you want to update and hit export. Um, so all of your changes get carried over. Um, and it preserves all the functionality that you had set up in Quest. Um, so you can continue to iterate between design and building the page. Uh, you can create multiple variations and so on. Wonderful. So uh, that was a quick uh, uh, overview of uh, converting your Figma designs into a live page. Um, if you have any questions, uh, uh, reach out to us um, at uh, on our Slack channel or at uh, community.quest.ai. Um, let us know what you think, uh, give us your feedback, and, uh, and looking forward to seeing what you build. Thank you.